So before we jump into grasping, I'm going to quickly review rolling and pushing away. So rolling, the traditional style, is that radial to ulnar, or ulnar to radial rather, deviation. Thumbs are down, but this is the motion you want to make. It makes no difference which leg is in front. And I'm pushing from one leg towards the other, from the back leg towards the front. The bigger the push, the more rock her body is going to get, but it doesn't have to be a huge big rock. So that's our rock. Here's that fifth metacarpal head. It can be one handed, two handed, they can be next to each other. Right now, we're really focused on the back of the torso. We certainly do this in the hip, less on the extremities. And we'll talk about that in the back and other stuff, but technically, you can do it. That's a rocking, a rolling side. Pushing away, or tree is our side to side rotational power. So, shifting into one leg, rotating the torso, that side that's coming forward is providing the pressure. I can do this on the far side of the spine. I can do this on the same side of the spine. Makes no difference. Walk back and forth across if you really want to. We're going to talk about traveling up and down the body later today. Try to get everybody comfortable with this motion where we have you walking and doing this motion. Because that's another level of difficulty. But we're thinking about soft hands, so I'm not applying a ton of uh, tension through my hand. I'm just pushing into the heel. And my arm is as relaxed as possible with my fist creating the force. So I'm not pushing by straightening my arms so much as I am turning my body. With one leg at a time. That's our pushing away. Easy peasy. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about grasping, and grasping can be done a lot of places, but unless you have really big hands, grasping in here is really tough. You can get a hold of a little bit of the paraspinals, but grasping is easier on things like the neck, the arms. I'm just going to use her legs because they're here in the camera shot. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to pull the blanket off, I'm just going to Give myself a little bit of slack here so you can kind of see what, what I'm working with. Grasping does use some pressure with the hands, but I'm not pinching with my fingertips. I'm squeezing with the inside surface of all of the digits, the fingers and the thumb, and all of the surface of that interior, palm or side. And there are two ways we're going to do this. You may have guessed already. One is shifting forward and back. One is shifting side to side. So if I'm doing two-handed grasping, where I'm going to be grasping and pulling with both hands simultaneously, then I'm going to use over the back. So I'm shifting in as I reach in to grab, gently squeezing and lifting the tissue, pulling it back as my weight comes back. Simple and easy. Trying to avoid doing this. Keeping my wrist mostly neutral, because the more of this I do, the harder it is on my forearms. Gentle lift and twist. And this can be done on the hamstrings. It doesn't have to be the gas drop or the cap. You can do this anywhere you can get a hold of and lift your hands. The other version of that alternates one hand at a time. So I'm going to stand in a square stance. I'm going to be shifting and turning. So when I reach in, that's the same movement I was making to push. But now instead of worrying about the push, that's just a, a reach in. I'm pulling on the side that's to the back. That blanket's kind of too much. I'm to push. That okay? <laughs> if you're working with somewhere like the hamstrings, you may not be able to grab the whole hamstring, just pick a side. medial side, semitendinosus membranosus, or that lateral side, the biceps membranus. The same is true, same mechanics work if you're working on the arm. You must feel your arm here. 
<laughs> so I can do this with my body moving from forward to back, both hands lifting, or I can do this alternating if I stand square to the part of the arm. Yeah, and obviously, I'm working bare skin, the lotion makes that more comfortable. But I don't have to necessarily do it with a lot of slipping, a lot of tissue. Works easily. Forearm, same kind of thing. Even to some degree, the neck. I tend not to try to alternate if I'm working in the neck in this position. I tend to use both hands together. I just have to roll my wrist. Because I've never met anybody I can reach both hands in like this. Some people have big necks, but not that big. <laughs> so I end up with the backs of my hands curled towards each other a little bit. And I'm doing the same kind of thing. Obviously, you know, pay attention to your patient and their comfort. Their fingers and toes curl all up. I'm probably getting a little aggressive. Let me know, Summer, if I push you into the bar or glorious. Glorious. It's terrible. You need more practice. Huh. Bad chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Chips ahoy. <laughs> basic. Basic. <laughs> basic. Even a basic chocolate chip cookie is a chocolate chip cookie. 